Let's set up one of our ISO 30 ER32 tool holders. You want to start with a clean set of parts. Never put a dirty tool holder together or you risk it never coming apart again. Again, don't ask me how I know this. So here's all the parts for an ISO 30 ER32 45 millimeter gauge length tool holder. This is our standard tool holder for our CNC router. The first step is to assemble the collet nut and the spring collet. It should snap together satisfyingly. Next, insert the tool into the collet and nut assembly. Take that and start to twist the nut onto the rest of the tool holder body. When the nut starts to tighten down the collet, you want to make sure to get your tool set to the depth you want. Hand tighten the nut so the tool can't slip out. Then we'll take the tool holder to the tightening vise and grab a wrench. We use a ER32 head on a torque wrench to set the proper torque for this nut and collet. For us, that's 80 foot-pounds, which you can range from 80 to 100 foot-pounds on an ER32 collet. Once tightened, you're ready to use the tool holder. We'll manually load this tool holder into the spindle. We need to set the tool height of this tool, so we'll push the tool height button on our WinCNC controller. And the machine will go to measure the tool offset like we showed in the last lesson. That was part of our course on learning the basics of CNC and CAM. Here's a little teaser for the rest of chapter four on tool holders, and you can check out the rest below at the link. Oh.